Boo! <laughs> Happy Halloween, my berries. Did I get y'all? Come on, tell me if you jumped or not. <laughs> tell me if you jumped. Y'all have to tell me. Tell me that I scared the living you know what out of you. Happy Halloween. It's Thursday. How about uh, what we got planned tonight? What kind of candy y'all got in the bowl? I might come by and need some candy. No, I'm just kidding. I actually need to go buy candy today because I it's raining like cats and dogs outside. But they did say it was going to clear up for trick-or-treaters, which I think is so cool because I want to sit outside and like chill a little bit. I might order some Mexican food for my family coming over. I have all kinds of food in there. So like I have meatloaf and stuff left over from Sunday. Uh, Kayla and I ordered Chinese last night. We just wanted some Chinese. I don't know what it was. And so I had like combination rice and egg rolls. And those egg rolls were so, 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 so good. And um, I think she had general so. So it was really good. Jordan, he doesn't like Chinese, so he made himself some chili dogs. <laughs> and um, so I might order some Mexican just to kind of lay everything out. I have a big old smorgasbord nearby. I can just have a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, that is it for Halloween. Y'all, guess what your girl... I'm going to sit down and tell y'all this one. I'll get to the outfit of the day. Guess what your girl did last night? Because I'm a big old kid. I don't have no shame in my game, really. But I'm a big old kid, so me and my children, we play around here all the time. Y'all have probably seen the vlogs and stuff like that, and we play. It was something I was telling my son. I went in this room, and I was like, hey, you need to do something, then I'll take off running, you know. And he's like, no, and he'll chase me or whatever. Y'all, I came in here in this room, turned the corner, tried to stop. There was a slick part in my in my carpet. Bam! Fell flat. I mean, like, flat out like that. Y'all, I hurt my shoulders so freaking bad. Like, I was like, what should I do? And my son's like, let me get you up. I'm like, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Because it was hurting so much. It was like throbbing. It was throbbing. And so I finally got up on my own. I was like, what should I do? You know, I need some icy hot. I need this, I need that. And so my son was like, Mom, you need to ice it now and put heat on it later. And I was like, oh, thank God for, you know, like a, a smart kid. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just like all crazy. So I got in bed and he went and got me ice. And he was like, later on, I'll give you a, a hot towel to put on your um, shoulder. So I, I think I put the ice on for like 30 minutes or so. And then he came back in with the hot towel and put that on. And then um, we put some Max Freeze, which is still in bed with me and slept with me. Some Max Freeze. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This Max Freeze stuff, it works wonders. When I hurt my back during the playoffs this year, um, early this year, that's what I uh, used. But, yeah, I put this Max Freeze on my um, shoulder. And uh, once I took, oh, I took a, a pain pill, too. Because I was like, I was so scared that it was going to just like ache so much. But now it just feels sore, like right here. It feels sore. But can you believe that? Big old grown woman. And my children, like, I'm laying there and just picture them, like, looking at me like this, holding back the laugh. So they wanted to laugh their behinds off at me, which I don't blame them Because once I did finally get up, we all kind of laughed like, mama. You know, and it's so crazy because it's like, I'm the adult here. And they're like, trying to take care of me. But, you know, it's all in fun and stuff like that. I'm just glad I didn't really kill myself <laughs> and so so yeah but um but I'm better now I can move it like I said just right here it's sore like right here in this area so I ain't wearing that to work so I don't want to smell like no old person so I'll make it through the day if I have to just take some Advil or some Aleve or something like that but it doesn't like ache, ache, ache. it's just like when I move it you know so anyway my outfit of the day I'm trying to go with a slight Halloween theme, not so over the top, you know what I'm saying? So I have on these black boots here that I got from Charlotte Russe, those same, like the brown ones I wore yesterday, with a little silver going down the middle. And I have on these leggings that I got from, where are these leggings from, y'all? I got these leggings from, not Dress for Less, oh, Burke's Outlet. And then I have on just a regular black, cami and then the the shirt itself came from forever 21 and um and then i have on this orange necklace here just to kind of bring just to kind of bring the halloween theme in but not so like blatant in your face halloween you know what i'm saying so it's just got the colors and then i just have on these little earrings here hope you guys can see those those earrings there and then my makeup i just kind of did a dark smoky eye 
and then a, a black cherry lip. So yeah, this is my outfit of the day. What do you guys think? I know I got a lot of response from people when I wore this for my brother's birthday party, but I actually belted it. But today I'm just going to go really cool, casual, and fun today. Um, I know I need to go get my nails done. I need to go get candy, and I need to order food for um, for my family and stuff because I was going to do corn dogs. You know, this so I might just go get like a big um, fajita thing and nachos and stuff. Like nacho cheese from this place. It's really, really good. And that's it. That's it. What are you guys doing? Please comment below. Like sometimes I only get like one or two comments every now and then. And I appreciate those comments. I really do. Because I like to respond to you guys and see what you're thinking and stuff. So just let me know what you guys are doing. Even if you're watching this on your phone. I believe you can still like type in a little comment or whatever. So yeah. Um, I think that is it. I hope you guys have a fabulous Halloween. Because, honey, I know I will. Don't let the ghouls and the goblins get you. Don't let them get you because it's a spooky day. So have fun with your kids. And if you don't have any kids, just have fun with yourself. I know before we had, we, before myself and my ex-husband had kids, we used to decorate for Halloween anyway. We didn't have any children in the house. And we love to give out candy and all that kind of stuff. So just have fun with your neighbors and your neighbor's kids and stuff. You know, make it a really nice night for them. I know a lot of people don't really care for Halloween. Um... And that's to each his own. You know, I'm not trying to promote it or anything like that. But for me, I just think if you just keep it lighthearted and keep it as a, a holiday where kids can get free candy, then there's no 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 harm done. Because for myself, I I mean, y'all know I'm, I'm a big believer in Jesus Christ, so I don't believe in all that devil stuff or whatever. But I do believe in kids having fun. That's, you know, that's what my parents promoted for us. We did. We just had fun. You know, my father's a bishop. Go figure, huh? So anyway... I will talk to you guys later. Have a fabulous Thursday. Have a fabulous Halloween. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.